good evening from the edge so um we're gonna do a random question tag vlog so we had an open invitation from the sidwell universe to do this so um so there's a like 11 random questions that we're just gonna go through and answer um we do have flashcards, so if i'm looking down that's why so first question if you could live in a sitcom what would it be so i picked the sitcom raisin hope um i think i would fit in well in that world um and i think the people on it the characters on it are pretty cool and they'd be fun to hang out with what about you russ i think i'm gonna go with uh the show scrubs i think it'd be cool to act like i'm working in a hospital with a bunch of crazy characters and i've seen every episode of the show so and i really like it so i think that'd be fun to be a character on that show that's a good one question two if you had to change your name what would it be so i like my name but if i had to change it i'd probably go with ellie um, I've always kind of liked that name, and uh, the movie Up even made that more of a uh, name for me. Because uh, yeah, I, I really liked young Ellie in that, that movie, so yeah. um, I go with Ellie. I think I changed my first name to Gordon. It's my middle name right now. Um, it was my father's name, and I've always liked it, so... I think I just switch things around and be Gordon. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Well, I'm definitely a dog person. I don't dislike cats. We actually own a cat, but I am definitely more a dog person. What about you? I like dogs and cats equally. Um, if I had to pick one or the other, I'd probably pick cat. So I guess I'd say I'm a cat person. And just to show you guys, um, if I flip this around real fast, and um, I don't know where to flip it around actually. So never mind. Um, our dog and cat are actually both sitting at our feet right now. But I don't know how to flip it around. So um, moving on to the next question. What is your favorite holiday and why? Mine is definitely Christmas. I love Christmas lights. I love Christmas movies, all the music, the decorating, wrapping presents for friends and family. So it's definitely Christmas for me. I'm going to say Halloween. I like Halloween. I like all the, the spookiness and the ghosts and goblins and stuff and... Yeah, I like Halloween. If a movie were to be made about me, who would play me and why? You want to take this one first? Yeah, I was trying to think of someone short like me. Um, I can't really think of anyone who matches my personality, but I was looking through some lists and stuff, and uh, I'm going to go with Danny DeVito. He's short. He's a good actor. Can be funny at times. So I'm going to try Danny DeVito. I think he'd play me well. So I picked uh, Amber Tamblyn. Um, I don't know what it's been, but ever since I saw the first Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, it's the first time I actually saw Amber Tamblyn in something, I kind of thought, you know, she reminds me a lot of myself. At least her character in that movie. I, don't, I really haven't seen her much in other stuff. I know she's also in Jane, Joan of Arcadia. And mm -hmm. she's also in House. Yeah. Yep. But um, yeah. I just Something about her always drew me towards her. You know. So yeah. I'm going to say Amber Tamblyn. Nice. If you could change careers. What would you do? I'm uh, sort of 
off and on aspiring writer. I'd like to do that as a living if I could. Um, so if I had to change careers, I'd, uh, I'd want to be a writer, a fiction, fiction writer, and try that. So mine has kind of been um, kind of like my dream job ever since I was a little girl. Um, and I just didn't do well with sciences in high school. So I kind of switched gears. But if I could do anything, I would definitely become a zookeeper. And more specifically, I would like to be a zookeeper for red pandas. Mm -hmm. They are my favorite animal and have been for years. And I would love to be a red panda keeper. That would be awesome. Question seven. What makes you the happiest? I have three things. It would definitely be my friends, my family, both human and furry, and traveling. I'm going to say my wife, Mary. Oh. Pets, Hankster and Tuckster, um, and my life in general. Um, I like where I'm at right now. I like my life, so, yeah. Ready to move on? Yeah. Question eight. Which of the seven wonders of the world would you like to visit most? So for me, this one is kind of a tricky question. Because um, which list of seven wonders are we going off of? Are we going off the natural list? Yeah. Are we going off the modern marvels, the, the uh, ancient world? The, you know, there's so many lists. So um, taking that in consideration, I'll just pick one off of any of the list. So I would definitely go with the Great Barrier Reef. Mm -hmm. um, I love animals, and I think that would be really cool to see the Great Barrier Reef. That would be cool. I always wanted to see the pyramids of Giza. I'd like to go to Egypt and check those out. I think that would be really cool. That's a good one. Mm. Number nine. What major historical event took place the year you were born? Do you want to take this one first? I don't know if it's a major historical event or not, but it's kind of big for me. Um, I'm a big comedy fan, and in 1975, when I was born, Monty Python and the Holy Grail movie premiered in England in 1975, so I think that's really cool. So, I was born in 1986, so there are two major events that took place in 86. Um, first was Chernobyl, and then the second one, which is kind of ironic that we're filming this today because it was actually 34 years ago today that this happened it was the space shuttle challenger um tragedy so yeah so we had chernobyl chernobyl and the challenger for my year yeah, yeah two bad things two bad things two bad disasters those are the biggest things that pop up when you think of 1986 i'm sure there's a lot more but those are two pretty worldwide known things yeah Major, so. yeah. Number 10. If you won the lottery tomorrow, what would your very first expense be? So, my very, very first expense would definitely be a new Adventure Mobile for us. Uh, we do have one now, but it would be nice to have a, a new one. Mm -hmm. And I would like actually like to wrap it so uh, it actually says Edge of Adventure on the side and everything. Body wrap. A body wrap it. Yeah. So yeah. That'd be cool. That would be my very first expense. I was thinking about it, and I think I'd purchase a house for us, a vacation home. Um. Maybe somewhere uh, in Michigan where we grew up, some place where we could go to and just chill out. Yeah, somewhere in Upper Michigan, a nice house. With some property. And number 11. This is the final question. Do you have any irrational fears and why? Well, 
I don't know how irrational or not it is, but um, I guess my number one fear would be snakes. Um, I've never really liked them. And living here in the Southwest, um, we are known for um, poisonous snakes. So I am not a big snake fan whatsoever. Just like Indiana Jones. Yeah, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I'm afraid of a lot of things from time to time and they come and go. Um, I'm gonna go with all those roller coasters I never want to go on. Uh, Mary goes on the roller coasters and I sit on the bench outside waiting for her, so. And if you, uh, watched our Disneyland vlogs, you'll notice, uh, yeah, I went on a lot of stuff that he did not. Um, yeah. I am definitely a thrill seeker and he is not. Yeah. But so. we have a good agreement, you know, if he doesn't want to go on it, he doesn't have to go on it, but he has to wait for me because I'm going to go on it regardless. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with roller coasters and certain thrill arts real rides I won't go on them <laughs> so those are the questions um, like I said we were uh, we picked up on an open tag from Sidwell Universe um, we don't have many actual like youtuber friends mm -hmm. um, we do have hammocks to coasters the Sidwell Universe and those are the only ones like actual like friends that we have yeah um, so we're just gonna leave it to an open tag also um, if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. If you need the questions, we'll make sure we get them to you. Um, we are fairly new to YouTube, so I don't know how to put the link in the description like other people say. That's something we have to learn. Uh, but for now, yeah, just go with it. If you want to do it, go do it. That's a lot of good questions, a lot of interesting stuff. So uh, for now, that's us from The Edge. And stay tuned because we have a pretty exciting weekend coming up. Yep. So, bye.